Hey, it's JJ, the MMA and Sports Extreme show for MSXN TV with one of the greatest strongmen in the world. Mr. Poundstone, how are you? Good, good. Can't complain. Well, we have good days, we have bad days, we have in-between days. What has today been? Uh, good day altogether, I guess. I'm here. Yeah, you are here. You got, you got your loved one with you. So you got a lot of fans here, and you're pushing some major weight up there. Uh, that, that single bell, was what was the weight on that? Uh, 255 pounds. That's one arm, single dumbbell lift. That's incredible. It's, uh, it's words can't really express the, uh, the weight of it, you know. I think that what they've been doing is uh, as the weights go up each year, they're not let, letting you lift them as high because they're worried about, like with the wheel, I think they're worried about that wheel coming down at 400 plus pounds right through the st stage. Well, they just don't want to test too much uh, shoulder strength. They want to make sure it's equal. So that's why the, uh, the axle is a clean only. Well, it's amazing that every single year they're pushing up the weights here at the Arnold Sports Festival. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, we're really pushing the limits of human possibility at this point. You know, I mean, it's uh, you look at all the athletes. Everyone's tired, beat up, uh, and we're not even halfway through. We still have three more events. So, um, but that's the nature of the beast. You know, that's uh, that's competition. You know. Uh, what else? You, what else is going on in your career? I know you're involved in the community. I know you have these new T-shirts. You help out with diabetes. What's going on in the community for you? Uh, geez, a, a little bit of everything. I work with Special Olympics as the uh, global ambassador for the Law Enforcement Torture Run. I have a gym. Um, the T-shirts are just uh, some people got a hold of my wife on uh, Facebook and Twitter, so um, they arranged to have some shirts uh, that we give to them out here. So, um, you know, doing a little bit of everything. Still working full time, so it's uh, it's uh, you know interesting trying to keep it all uh, all in check. Yeah, a lot of people know that, that the professional athletes also have full-time jobs because, you know, the money's nice, but it's not able to support a whole family all the time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's enough, but, uh, you know, for me, the big thing is medical insurance and stuff like that, you know, where we get injured a lot and, uh, you know, the medical coverage for an athlete like myself would be real expensive, so I just choose to work. Where, uh, what is the website that fans can go and get some of your merchandise and find out what you're doing? Uh, the best way is poundstonepower.com. Um, I'm also building a website for my gym called poundstoneperformance.com. That'll be up probably April, May, somewhere thereabouts. Uh, and also, you know, I'm, like any other athlete nowadays, I'm on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Facebook is just Derek Poundstone. There's a fan page. Uh, and then Twitter is at Derek Poundstone. So uh, I post up fairly regularly, you know, uh, on a daily basis. So you can follow me there, and uh, it's probably the best way to find out what I'm doing day to day. One of the things I've noticed with the professionals at the Arnold Sports Festival is they make sure they get a really positive message out to the young athletes coming up. We're going to be holding the Teen Nationals this year for the uh, North American Strongman on the beach in Atlantic City. What kind of words of advice can you give to the young athlete, the 17, 18, 19-year-old strongman, strongwoman? You know, the biggest thing is it doesn't happen overnight. I think a lot of guys, young guys, particularly, they want to get rich quick, they want to get strong quick, and they don't understand that. A guy like myself, I'm 30 years old, I've been training since I was 13. Uh, I've been a professional athlete for over eight years now. You know, and I just started coming up to my own in the last few years. I was a pro for five years in relative obscurity. So, you know, you just really need to, uh, you know, take your time and just, you know, build strength the right way, and it's gonna take time. And it doesn't happen, doesn't happen in a year or two, you know? Well, we know we've been watching your career, and we're very proud of you. We all, all support you. You stepped inside our cage at the MMA and Sports Extreme Show. Thank you very much. Thank you.